So phobia and fear tests are a thing on TikTok now. They're compilations and or videos of things that are supposed to trigger fear in you and make you wonder, oh, do I have a phobia of this thing? <laughs> I've seen some of these on TikTok and they are unsettling every single time I watch them. So before I start, I first want to apologize to editor Emily. I'm so very sorry that you have to sit through all of these <laughs> probably multiple times. And number two, I'm sorry for all of you for putting you all through this as well. We're going to do it together. Leave a like in solidarity. Yay. We're going to be scared of everything after this together. <laughs> and speaking of fear, don't fall victim to the fear of missing out on my new merch collection. So make sure to go check it out before it's gone. Link in the description below. But yeah, I'm going to list the name of the phobia that the next couple of videos are going to be, you know, testing us of. Just in case you do know that you have that phobia, you might want to skip that part. So trigger warning for just every, if you have a phobia in general, just trigger warning this entire video. And if you want to find out if you have a phobia, welcome. Okay, first phobia, astrophobia, because it starts with A, why not? And astrophobia is a fear of space, which I definitely have. And also I'm going to combine this with meteorophobia. Don't even know if that's real, looked it up on the internet. Which is a fear of meteors, which I feel like is normal. <laughs> you don't wanna get hit by a meteor. And so now we're gonna hold our hands digitally and watch these video clips and see if we feel, um, scared, distressed, upset, or uncomfortable. And if you are, then you might have either a mild or severe case of those two phobias. Yay! Okay, already unsettling because we're in space and I don't like it. Okay! <laughs> we're just gonna imagine that this is happening. Yep, this would be scary if this was happening. Bye world! <laughs> what do I do now? Oh, don't worry, it doesn't matter, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, well, at least we're out of outer space now for this one. Uh. Okay, what's, the, where's the space part? There it is! <laughs> okay, an alien. And a vortex, I, oh. Okay, all right, don't like it. Was cool at first. Okay, it's getting worse. Do you have it? Do you have what? The phobia? Now I'm confused because I half feel like it's a phobia of death, <laughs> which I think everybody has. Most people, the majority of people. They mix that with the fear of space, with the alien and the fear of meteors. I just, there's so much going on. How you guys feeling? You okay? Because we're going on a nice motorcycle ride right now. <laughs> Don't worry. Beautiful scenery. Oh no, an avalanche. That's not space. Okay, it's the meteor. <laughs> yeah, that would be scary. It didn't hit us though. I think we're okay. No! Never mind. That is terrifying. So the moon, the moon crashed into us. Forget about the meteor. Yeah, no. Okay, also fear of tidal waves. I'm gonna add that in. Fear of weight, giant tsunamis. All right, this one looks really real. <laughs> Don't like that. Okay, hate it, hate all of this. Let's just take a second to think about if the moon exploded, how badly would that affect us? Pretty, I, I'm assuming pretty bad. Like the tides would be all messed up. Yeah, what, what would happen? <laughs> now I'm freaking myself out. I'm worried about the moon. I've been worried about earth the whole time. Now I'm worried about the moon. Also, if it exploded, the bits would be crashing onto earth. <sighs> New fear unlocked. I have a fear of something bad happening to the moon. <laughs> I have a fear of the moon exploding. Oh, perfect timing for this clip. <laughs> TikTok's like, what did you say? You're worried about something bad happening to the moon? Oh no. I uh, don't know how to feel about that one. Oh, I hate it. I can't imagine. Uh, I... You know, I would like to believe that I would go out <laughs> in this world with some bit of grace and love at the end of it. <laughs> I would have probably passed out from pa sheer panic before I even get to that point. <laughs> Actually, that would be great because then I wouldn't have to witness it. Okay, this next one at first, I was like, that's a dumb phobia. Tripophobia, fear of holes. I was like, what? <laughs> That's a thing? Tripophobia. Even this beginning part, I don't love. This feels weird and unsettling. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was the thumbnail image for this video and it still got me. What is that? 
<clears throat> her nails looked fantastic. I don't know what happened to her hand. What is that? What happened? <coughs> I hate it. Why is this a thing? Why is the? Oh my God. Does it get worse? Ugh, okay. Oh no. Yeah, what? Why is this unsettling? Is that coffee? <gasps> That is not holes. How does this fall? How would you I just got that was like a fear of teeth. <laughs> These videos. These freaking phobia tests. Let's try this again. This may be a new phobia of mine that I did not know. This may have unlocked a phobia. Yeah, I don't love it. I don't like I what? Why does this keep happening in people's hands? <laughs> Why is even that weird now? Ah! Oh ho ho! I'm done with that phobia. Can we move to the next one? I think I have it. <laughs> okay, the next one is Galephobia. Phobia of Gales. <laughs> People named Gale. No, it is a fear of sharks. Don't know where they got that from, but I'm pretty sure most people have this. Is it just like common sense being scared of sharks or is it a phobia? I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out. Okay, let's see this fear of sharks. Why are we above the water? Are we gonna crash into the water? Oh no! Okay, anybody would be scared of this. Anybody! Nope, can't. Nope, and there's just too many fears. This is, and deep ocean. We're just gonna focus on the shark. Just gonna. Oh God, I just, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. And what's even, Better is that we're going into um, one of my biggest actual fears, but I didn't know the name of it. It's called Thalassophobia, which is fear of the deep water. There doesn't even need to be something scary in it. I just don't want to see deep water where I don't know what's in it. And it's just darkness. Nope. Perfect example. This video. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. There's nothing even happening, and I hate it. It's just scuba divers on a on a chain doing work. That's all it is. <laughs> Nothing happened and I still hate it. I hate everything about it. It's making me so uncomfortable. Hope it's making, okay. <laughs> all right. Even though I know this is fake, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> you guys may think I'm over exaggerating, but I am not. I hate it so much. Even more so when you combine it with another phobia, mega Megalophobia, a fear of large objects. And also combined with submechanophobia, a fear of submerged human made objects. I also have this for sure. Don't ever want to go scuba diving. Well, in general, I don't ever want to go scuba diving, but even more so, would never go scuba diving in an abandoned shipwreck or plane. Nope. Or even near it. Even above it. Nope. Can't do it. So this video is my absolute worst nightmare. Giant statues underwater. Nope. No, thank you. I've seen that one before and it's still, it still gets me every time. I feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> Just, I knew this portion of the video was going to be the worst. It was going to be the worst for me. Oh, forgot, forgot. I don't know why. I don't know why it affects me so bad. I don't know why. So yeah, there's like three phobias going on at all different points in these. It's just too much. <gasps> We're in Attack on Titan. <laughs> What's funny is I love aquariums, but this is also a fear of mine when I'm at the aquarium. Even though it would never happen, how would they not know that a giant creature was in the aquarium? <laughs> they would know, because they put all the animals there. But it's still an irrational fear that some giant creature or the sharks that are there are just gonna like get really strong one day and break out. Tell me you haven't also thought of that. Like the big aquariums, the ones that have like gallons of water above you. Ugh. I feel like I must not be alone in this fear because there are so many of these on TikTok. Like, it's just you don't know what's down there. Why would you go down there? You don't know what's down there. Yeah. 
Yeah, in the grand scheme of things, you are this tiny little person in the giant ocean. There are so many things that are way, way bigger than you. It's the same thing with my space fear. It's too big and I am but too small. <laughs> Ugh, the realistic ones. No, thank you. that thing again. It's the, the man that lives in the ocean. Could you imagine there was a giant man that lived in the ocean? New fear unlocked. <laughs> like in a giant attack on Titan man that just lived in the ocean. Could breathe in the ocean, live in the ocean. Even if it didn't try to eat people, I would be terrified. Okay, finally moving on to a different phobia. Thank God. Ometophobia, which is the fear of eyes. Again, at first I was like, that's kind of a silly one. Uh, but then I saw this and I was like, nope, not so silly. Eyeballs, eye, eyeball, like eyeballs themselves. Why? What? Eyeballs are weird. Okay, I'm on board. Eyeballs are weird. And then we're gonna take that one phobia again and add on another one. Visosubridophobia, which is the fear of smiling faces. Sound dumb? And now I understand she doesn't have eyes. So you would be like, okay, well that doesn't count toward that phobia. Oh, but look, what is that? Yeah, she doesn't have eyes. It's because she controls the giant eyes. I hate that lady. Oh, and there she is again. There's something unsettling as well about playgrounds at night. Is that a fear? Is that a fear? Playgrounds at night? A fear of playgrounds, but only at night? Okay, this next one, I'm going to give another trigger warning for her because it is for aerophobia, a fear of flying. And I don't know if for some reason one of you is watching this while you're flying. If so, please skip this part, please. I have a very big fear of flying and I saw some of this clip and I hated it. I hated it so much, especially because I have to fly in a couple months. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. Oh, I also believe it has to do with that meteor phobia business fear. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, oh, there's the meteor. I was right. <laughs> I, I can't, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> Simulated, nope, mm-mm. Oh God, simulated? Plane accident crashes. Nope, can't do it. Nope, that's all I have on that because I can't handle it anymore. Next phobia, scopophobia, fear of being watched. Okay. Yep, yeah, this would be scary. Even if they didn't do anything, they just stay. <laughs> I mean, they're technically not doing anything. They're just watching you. Yeah, they're just watching. Harmlessly watching. This would be terrifying. Even if they had noses, even if they were people, random people in your room would be really scary. <laughs> I don't care the context. All right, and then this last one doesn't have a phobia name, but it's acknowledged as being a thing. Um, fear of toilets. And it's dark and disgusting. Tom is the tank engine. Okay, this is kind of warranted. It's kind of like skibbity toilet. This is kind of warranted because every time when I was younger, when I would go to the bathroom and I would open the lid to see what was in it, I always thought there was gonna be a snake. Always. I heard one story once about somebody in Australia getting bit by a snake when they went to use the toilet and just forever in my brain, I will forever be on the lookout for snakes in the toilet. Hasn't happened yet, we'll let you know if it does. This must be what it feels like for somebody who hates using the toilet to use the toilet. Why is there a piece of... There's a piece of pizza as the toilet paper, and that just ruined the whole fear part for me. But yeah, let me know in the comments how many of these phobias you now have, because I have all of them. Yay!